What is going on world? Welcome back once again. My name is Zach Novak and this is Zach Novak Plays Games. Now, in today's video, I've got a bunch of bounties to actually go through and show you guys. A bunch of loot actually comes out that is really, really good. So, hopefully you guys do enjoy. This video has been from the entire time the Iron Banner is up, all the bounties, all that good stuff. I'll have a loot video for all the actual drops of Aftermatch coming probably later tomorrow, maybe tonight. We'll see. But roll the intros, and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Alrighty, so starting things off, we are on the Huntress and we have quite a few bounties to actually turn in and see if we can actually get to rank 5 with uh, the good old Iron Banner. I went through on all three accounts, tried to get as many bounties as possible as I did already say, but again, I wanted to repeat, it was a lot of fun actually doing this. So. I have quite a few Nightfall bounties I've got, I think, well, I've got more than I thought. Okay, never mind. Um, I've also got Iron Banner bounties, all of them complete. So let's go through first off with the Iron Banner bounties. What do we get from the first one? We happen to get a artifact and some boots. That is pretty freaking cool, I do have to say. We got some 400 Iron Saga boots, that is awesome, I like that. We also happen to get a 400 artifact, which I've already got one, but uh, yeah. Anyway, let us move on, I keep going out of that, why do I do that? Anyway, on to the next one, let's go with Make a Rainbow. We actually got the Exaltation Mask, let's go with a Strike Elite. We got most likely something that went to the Postmaster. I actually happened to get the Exaltation Mask, let's go this quickly, and uh, yeah, kind of cool, not the greatest, but uh, yeah, you guys might like it if you actually get it at any point, or unless you've already got it and you're using it, then congratulations, that is pretty freaking awesome. Most likely it's got a better role than mine, because yeah. Let us go with Iron Arsenal, see what weapon we can get. Can we actually get a Silver Dread? Last few Iron Banners, all I was getting given is Silver Dreads. Let's see, well, there you go, another Silver Dread. I've got one on, I've got one there, and now I've got another one at 400. Let us see what it's actually got. It's got Hand Laid Stock, Reinforced Barrel, Speed Reload, Snapshot, Hidden Hand, and Persistence. Hidden Hand, Snapshot, and Reinforced Barrel. That could be actually, that could be really good in Crucible. Anyway, next package, let us go with another one from the, well, we won't go with the Sunrise yet, we'll save that. Let's go with Simply Perfect. What do we get? Something that went to the Postmaster. Let's go with another Merciless that went to the Postmaster. Let's go with the Cleanup. We got the Exaltation Vest. Now, I'll go and check out everything in the Postmaster soon enough. Actually, holy jeez, I just realized this is a very good roll. Holy jeez, Exaltation, what's it got? Scout Rifle and Sidearm, Arc and Arc Armor, hmm. Well, it looks cool and it's got some pretty good stats. But again, I might actually use that and might not. Let's go with a Iron Light Bounty. What do we get? Something that went to the Postmaster, that's good. We get another one, we got a Laughing Heart. Okay, I like that Sniper. That is a really nice looking sniper, and it's got some pretty good rolls. Perfect balance, explosive rounds, hidden hand, triple tap, single point sling, and oiled frame. Got perfect balance and explosive rounds, as well as maybe triple tap, possibly, I don't know. I like that thing anyway by itself, it is freaking cool. So, let's go with a sunrise bounty, we'll go to the postmaster after this, then we'll go to my warlock or titan. Let us see what we get from the Sunrise Bounty. We got the Swarm. Now that is a, it's an okay machine gun. What perks has it got? Life support, speed reload, hand laid stock, reinforced barrel and range finder. Range finder and reinforced barrel could actually be very viable for Crucible, possibly even PVE. Not 
actually too sure yet. So, let us go to the Postmaster and see what we actually get. Most likely it's going to be an Exaltation Helmet or Exaltation Boots. Let us see. Well, we got three, four sets of boots. We got Exaltation Boots. We got some more Exaltation Boots. We finally got some more Exaltation Boots. And we've also got some Iron Saga Boots. Not too bad. All of them could be in Fusion Fuel. Most likely they actually will be. Let us go to the Titan now and see what we can get. So, we're on my Titan now. We are at Bay Ephrodite. See what we can actually get. We have five of the Nightfall Bounties and four of the actual Iron Banner Bounties. So, let us see what we can get first off with the Iron Banner Hard Light Bounty. What do we receive? An Iron Saga Helm. The one with the horns, that's actually pretty cool. It looks pretty unique. I, I actually like it. Everyone actually has it, but uh, yeah. It looks pretty cool. Let us just actually chuck this back on. I like the Spectre helmet because it just looks awesome. Next up, let's go with a cleanup bounty. What do we get? We got a Snow Glare helm. Now that is the unicorn looking helmet. I've received one of these before in my last package. But uh, yeah, not actually too bad. It does seem to have, actually, that's not too bad actually in itself. I might use that at some point. Don't actually know if I will, possibly. Anyway, let's go with an Iron Arsenal Bounty. We get the Branded Lord Fusion Rifle. Let's have a look at that. That actually is pretty sweet. I like this Fusion Rifle. It is pretty, pretty gnarly, I do have to say. I like it in itself. It doesn't have the perfect roll on it. It's got enhanced battery. It's got perfect balance and hot swap. I like that. Not the greatest. I might still use it, however, because it is a very good fusion rifle. Let us go, though, with a Merciless Bounty from the Weekly Elite Bounties. We got another Snow Glare Helm. That's, uh, yeah, that's cool. I won't say that's great, but that's pretty cool. It's worse than the last one. I just went out of the menu again. I don't know why I do that. A lot of the times, I do make that mistake. Strike Elite though, what do we get from this? We get something that went to the Postmaster. Make a rainbow. We get something that went to the Postmaster. With the Iron Marathon Bounty, what do we get? Something that went to the Postmaster. That's, uh, that's always something I like. I'm usually full on things. Most of the time, anyway. Let's go with the Iron Support Bounty. We got the Iron Saga Mark. Now, I haven't had that before. That's actually pretty cool. That is actually pretty decent it's got some good rolls on it in itself it is close to tier 12 close to 100% I think it's like maybe 80 maybe 90% if I'm very lucky keep going out of the menu again let us go back once finally with the sunrise bounty what do we receive from this hopefully it's an icebreaker that'd be very nice we got the shadow prize that's still pretty good that is a really good auto rifle huh it's got focused fire, it's got perfect balance, it's got hand laid stock, it's got armor piercing rounds, and it also has glass half full. Not bad, I like it. Alrighty, so we're going to the Postmaster, what did we actually get from those packages? We got the Snow Glare Gauntlets, with a kind of crappy roll. We got the Snow Glare Helm, with a... Not bad roll, still pretty good. And we also got a The Proud Spy, not A, what the hell. We got The Proud Spy, the shotgun. Let us have a look at this. It's got Hammer Forged, it's got Injection Mold, it's got Snapshot, it's got Appended Magazine, it's got Replenish, and it's also got Life Support. Not bad, not the greatest, but let us get onto the Warlock. What does my Warlock actually get from these packages? Let us see. Alrighty, so finally with the Warlock, let us stand right next to the Bay Ephrodite and see what we can actually get from these bounties. So, starting things off, we only have two of the Nightfall bounties or Elite bounties and uh, we'll go with them first. So, let us see what we get from Strike Elite. We get a veil of a dying star helmet i actually like that helmet it is pretty cool that's uh got some pretty good rolls actually it's almost identical to mine slightly lower 
still very very good let us go with a i don't know iron support bounty we got colavance's choice and the iron saga bond that's actually pretty cool let's have a look at that bond i've already got one however you can never have too many of 400 light gears you know always good for infusion fuel wow colavance's choice actually has some really really good rolls Holy Jesus, I'm definitely going to keep that. 81 and 88. Wow. Okay, so let us go back to the bounties. What do we get from Iron Light? We got something that went to the Postmaster. Most likely a helmet. Maybe. I don't know if that was a... Yeah, it most likely be a helmet. That would have most likely been a helmet. Let us go with Iron Arsenal. What do we receive from this? We get something that went to the postmaster that's cool let's get rid of that let's go finally with another iron marathon bounty what do we receive something that went to the postmaster we've also got cleanup for the final bounty what do we receive from this a pelt of a dying star that is what we received from this that is cool i like that let us have a look at that quickly that actually has some pretty good roles intellect and discipline i like that 77 and 82 not too bad not the greatest but not too bad all right let's go and look at the postmaster see what we actually got all right so what do we receive let us actually see we got another iron saga bond that's cool not the worst roles not the greatest we got a colavanter's choice pure discipline pretty good role we got a lingering song hand cannon that's pretty cool. It's got rifled barrel, braced frame, snapshot, feather mag, third eye, and mulligan. Pretty freaking cool. I like that thing just because it actually looks really freaking deadly. And finally, we got an unbent tree, the auto rifle. This has hammer forged, braced frame, snapshot, casket mag, glass half full, and sprint play. This could be pretty good with braced frame and snapshot actually very viable in crucible so that is all we actually have for the video today that is all the bounties turned in hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video there was a bunch of loot a bunch of bounties and i had a lot of fun actually receiving different packages i'm going to quickly jump into another few matches of iron banner because i've got i think about 12 minutes left until reset when i'm recording this so once again, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, clicked that like button down below. Do all that good stuff and I'll be cheering like Kieran if he was at cheering. I will have a video up tomorrow and maybe later tonight of all the actual loot I did receive in Iron Banner. All the drops from after matches. So, look forward to that. Until next time though, this is Zach Novak. Do all that good stuff. Once again, until next time, this is Zach Novak. Signing off. Peace out.